I'm Samara Kaja, illustrator, graphic designer, and author. And today I'm going to show you uh, how to have a lot of fun with raw edged applique. I don't know if you've tried it before, but I highly recommend it. Um, what we're going to do is start by using really simple shapes. So uh, a, uh, an orange peel and circles. And you'll find that you can really make a lot of interesting variations just using those two shapes. So I'm going to start by taking a piece of fabric that I'm going to use for the body of my fish and a sheet of fusible web. And I'm going to iron it down following the manufacturer's, uh, manufacturer's instructions. And what's great here too is when you iron big sheets here, you can cut out multiple pieces that you can use in other projects later. So we're going to take our orange peel shape. I've cut out the template and quickly trace that onto the paper side. And the other, the other great thing about raw edged applique is it doesn't have to be exact. So just a rough sense of what that shape looks like will work perfectly for this project. Now we're going to take a rotary cutter and cut it out. Mind your fingers. And in my case, I'm left-handed, so I like for, um, to, to make my, what I, my working area um, as easy as possible for me to use. So I've switched the blade on this rotary cutter. It's, it's a universal cutter, so I've switched it for a lefty like me. And now I've cut out that orange peel. We're good to go with that. That's going to be the body of our fish. So let's do this. We'll close our blade, and I'm going to bring over the main scene that I've been working on here. These have got two other fish here that I've appliqued down and we're going to peel off the backing of this new little fish body. And we're going to place it I think that looks good. Now here's where things get fun. I've got little pieces that I've already pre-cut and fused the fusible web on. And again, they are circles and sections of the orange peel. And what we're going to do is assemble them. And the assembling part can be anything you want. Here's, here's some options. You can use different size circles to make different facial expressions can have the fish looking like it's going straight ahead, that it's, it's look like it's checking out the fish below it. You can have two different eye colors if you want. You could change the pupil direction and make it a really wacky fish. There are a whole bunch of different things you can do. So have fun, make sure that you're playing around because the, the best part with applique is you can figure out how you want everything to look and then once you're ready you can fuse everything in place. So there's, there's a, an, a good amount of play time you can have. So what I think I will do is I've taken two sections that are uh, cutoffs from the orange peel and I'm doing kind of a, a double uh, tail fin look. And I think two different eye sizes would be entertaining. And I think we'll put the fin there. Now, I like this because he looks like he's totally startled and that's funny to me. Uh, but I think what would be cute is have him looking up at the fish above. So they're checking each other out as they're swimming past each other. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to iron everything in place, fuse everything down. All right, I think that's looking good. Let's take it over now to the sewing machine. Now, I like to use uh, neon thread for this. I think it will be nice to make it pop uh, 
really nicely in comparison to the, to the other fish. And here's another thing that's, uh, that's good about um, raw edge appliques. You can really start anywhere. And I just eyeball where the stitching is going. We're kind of sketching along here. So there is no right or wrong uh, distance to stitch. Um, you can use any weight thread that you want. Uh, and what I like to do, I do like to do a standard stitch. You can do this with free motion quilting if that's, or free, free motion stitching if that's your preference. I like using a standard stitch because I like the control that it gives me by having that extra kind of leverage uh, working against the, the foot. Um, so I find it nice and meditative, really. It's, it's kind of fun to just sit here and stitch all the way around. And I'll show you what we're going to do. Because in addition to, let's call it functional stitching that actually holds down the edging, of the, the fish. We'll do some cosmetic stitching as well. And I'll show you that right now. We'll go over here, we'll finish this eye. And actually, um, You'll see in the other two fish that I showed you, I like going over things a few times. It kind of gives it a, a lot more of a, a loose feeling. And again, then there's no right or wrong distancing you need to have from the edge and you don't need to align everything and it kind of adds a little bit more character to the, the little guys that you're creating. And one fun thing I like to do is because I've been doing this uh, a fair amount, is see, once, I, once, you've, once you get started, um, to see if you can stitch everything down just using one stitch, one, one. Okay. All right. Let's see where we are now. So this gives you a sense of where we are now. As you can see, I kind of created a three quarter look of this particular fish. So I just brought his face over. Um, and this is the example of the cosmetic stitching that I was talking about. Um, so you finish off everything uh, around the edges. You can add additional um, decorative flourishes on the fins and on the tail, little, little extra additions with your cosmetic stitching. So let me show you some other examples of my raw edged applique. When you start to play around more, you can see that uh, you can have a lot of fun with using up scraps of fabric and making uh, whole new scenes. This is uh, a series of portraits that I have made and it's a lot of fun to play around with different fabric textures and create different images. And you can see that the, some of them are, are a bit more elaborate than others, but with time and playing around, you can have a lot of fun making fabric raw edged applique. This one in particular is, is a favorite of mine. I opted to raw edge components before I put them on the main backing, um, and, and then I used embroidery thread to tack them down to kind of give this really fun 3D effect. And then this one uses some embroidery thread, and you can, again, go third dimensional and start to really um, make, make, your, make your pieces a lot more interesting. So I hope you have a lot of fun. Get in there, use your fabric scraps, play around, and I think you'll find that raw edged applique is a really fun, fun way to create, so go for it and do it.